It is the Sandringham Sabres with the ball in the lead. 19-12 at the moment. Could be a little bit more, and it will be indeed. Dwayne Davey calls the timeout. Basket there by Georgia Pinot. We talk about crafty players, Justin, in the low post, coming back over that right shoulder, left-hand finish. She's as good as there is in the league. A death tax is kind of touch, and there's one there from Georgia Pinot. It's Jerry. As O'Neill and Smart goes inside herself, though, over to Pinot. Pinot again from about 17, bottom of the net. It's not quite the same. Ball going through sets of hands. Hobart really moving around defensively as Bartlett forcing Pinot yeah, to the 15, but manages to make the shot. Amy O'Neill now able to run freely, and just, they're demanding ball. not guarding the ball. No, and they were demanding coverage on that ball as well as Pinot gets the easy basket, and as you mentioned there, weave through the defense. Britt Smart open for three. Doesn't get that one to drop. Smart's offense not quite there since the first term, but a second chance opportunity off glass to, you guessed it, Georgia Pinot, who's got to be close consistently across the three quarters so far, the player of the game, Nashi. You can just see the, the pressure, the, the double team there, but Kylie McCauley able to slip. And Shana Thompson doing a great job, as we see. But now, yep, this is going to be an M1. Left-hand finish. All and right. Just press repeat. Absolutely. And if that doesn't work, a slight little shimmy. Usually yep. gets the defender off course. It's Pinot squaring up. Yeah, really Georgia Pinot dominating. They've just got to be very careful where they can. As Hicks gets open, goes over to Pinot. Nice seal, good position, easy basket. Now for Smart, just wanting to slow things down. Look for a horns action. That one breaks up a little bit, though. Over to Rachel Jarry for three, side iron. Second opportunity, though, Georgia Pinot. If for nothing else, to give my players a bit of an extra spell. Hobart playing as physical as they can, really pushing that principle as Pinot for three. 